the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters are 33 years of age. Ngannou weighed in at 250 pounds. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's a Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, introducing the challenger, the warrior. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath, right? right? You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to go finish a fight, you hear the crowd. Take all the air in because yeah. they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. Dig and kick. And they separate. The Predator gets caught by the straight punch. Cable nice, nice. inches right that there, is. boy. Wow. It was good night that that landed. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. You're right, you're right. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice hook. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, missed on that one. Not there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a 
single collar tie. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. And Ngannou gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Whiffs on the straight right hand. This is with that punch. Single collar tie now. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. There, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Hook shot lands. Well, he's oh, huge right hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt. Oh, hard. he might be out. Oh. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. That was a jab. And they separate. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. And got it. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Thirty-four total strikes have now landed for Francis and Guy. He landed with twenty-nine percent accuracy thus far against Francis and Guy. Big shots being landed on both sides here. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 43 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Warrior. There is a new this man on the planet, there's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.